All right, welcome everyone. I'm back with another 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 episode of my Unreal Combat tutorial series. Actually, not combat, more like advanced multiplayer stuff in general, but a lot of combat. Um, we are still at the locomotion state stage, so very early in. This is video number four. Uh, in this video, we are going to be continuing with the jumping animation because as you can see here right now, we have these horrible default jumping animations, which sucks, to be honest. So we're going to swap those out for better looking ones uh, and um, uh, probably going to add like a roll, add the rolling animation to when we land as well because it looks freaking cool. So it will be a lot shorter episode, hopefully, than the last one. And I'm going to try to keep them short from now on. Uh, so that, yeah, so that it's easier for everyone to follow along, especially for beginners. And yeah, so that's pretty much going much gonna to be it for this episode. Also, before I forget, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. If you like what you see, it makes me super happy. Also amazing that we're actually at like 660 subscribers which is freaking cool i can't believe people are actually watching i never thought i would get past like 100 or something so yeah thanks a lot for all you subscribers that's why i do these videos um actually it's funny even if nobody watches so um anyway yeah let's jump into it uh so what you want to do is first you need to find some animations and in the first episode i down showed you where to get some basic free animations and before we start i also want to say just pay for animations it's gonna look a lot better but if you don't don't want to do that that's fine as well we have uh, ba -ba 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 somewhere ods female mannequin animations we have three jump animations for the female ones that we downloaded in the first video we have a jump start whoop, a jump loop and a jump end so basically we're just gonna swap these ones in so go into your player character your mesh or just go straight to your animation blueprint and you can see that I already messed around here because I uh, this has taken me like three hours to set up because it was horrible because I didn't find any good free jumping animations. I was like at Mixamo, I downloaded a couple of ones that just looked shitty. I forgot the Mixamo animations aren't always working on the C axis, which is upwards. So yeah, freaking horrible. So anyway, uh, state machine so animation graph default I also swapped my camera you can see it's I'm on the right side so you can actually see the variables here to the left now as well also I'm a bit smaller um, idle run jump start jump loop jump end so those are the states we have right now later on we're gonna add like an equipping state probably and um, um, maybe not equipping state but yeah defense walk state and strafing states and things like that but these are fine for now so for the jump start enter and you want to switch out this start animation which is the standard one to the uh, female animations actually let me copy these ones over and make sure that these are retargeted to your own skeleton i showed that in the first or second episode i think uh, i'm just gonna swap them in here and rename them player player jump start so i know that these are for my player Great, and I already have retargeted them. Um, so just delete 
so that's the jump starts and uh, we grant the player jump start that we just made pull it in go into the jump loop delete the standard jump loop and drag in the new player lump jump loop lump loop jump end and delete and insert whoops insert the jump end perfect this is very basic stuff so if you're already routined in uh, this you probably don't need to watch this episode maybe for the actually for the roll when we land that's actually something uh, anyway now we need to fix the transitions before uh, between these states um, the conditions basically for going to the different ones to going from the start to the loop and so on so the first one from the idle run to the jump start is fine because the only thing there is we check if we are in here but from the start to the loop we want to check uh, you want to right click and type time remaining to get the remaining time of the jump start animation plug it into this one means that if also I, I think the standard is 0 0.1 I switched around a little bit so let's try that first but I think that actually causes it to snap a little bit so 0 0.2 worked better but let's try with 0 0.1 first as the standard is now we got that one then we transition to the loop and the transition from the loop to the land will be if we're not in run anymore in in the ear anymore then we play our land animation and the transition from land to run will be also 0 0.1 uh, delete time remaining and we're gonna get jump end there are two time remaining nodes one just called time remaining and one called time remaining ratio i have no idea what the difference are and i think both of them works fine so but i'm using the normal one let's see how that looks i think it's gonna snap between the animations as you can see it is snapping a little bit between the animations and also the land has a lot of foot sliding in this one when we land so let's just fix that quickly um so i think this one will look better with 0 0.2 the the start to loop and the end, let's try 0 0.2 there as well, but there are some foot sliding as you saw. I think we might need to shorten that animation down. No, that actually looks quite fine. There's there are a little bit of foot sliding when we land. So let's just go into the end, end animation. As you can see, we land here and then we slide doing this so let's just cut off a few frames maybe right click frame 11 to 16 let's delete those see if it looks better yeah that's a lot better and there we go your new jump animation bam looks a lot better very ninja with the arms behind and look all only on eight minutes and very few problems that's because I already did this video like two th times and got stuck on a load of bullshit so looks quite nice uh, let's also fix a few things because this animation is our standard jump is like we are jumping way high we don't need to jump that high so go into your character movement and type jump and you have this jump c velocity so that's one of the controls and then we have gravity i think gravity scale i'm just gonna up the gravity scale to two so that's basically how hard okay that was a little much uh, 1.5 so basically the gravity scale is how much your character weights in the gravity basically how much the gravity of your character is uh, can I 
jump over this still. Yeah, I can. I think that's fine. Um, if you watch videos um, on game design and things like that, uh, you will find some people talking about hover time. I think it is. Uh, hover time for jumping. And a lot of people don't like that. And you can see there's a lot of hover time here. But it's fine for now. So let's just use that. Um, that's why people... Yeah, fuck it. I think it's fine. It's fine for now. Um, perfect. Uh, and what are we gonna do now? Let's add a roll when we land, right? It's gonna be super easy. So, there is actually an event for this land. Event on landed. Just search for that and you have this one basically. It's built into the engine and it triggers when you land. Nothing weird about that. Super easy. Uh, let me just check one thing bum, 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 bum. yep no yeah let's just do like this server play montage uh, we have our role lot right as play role f0 montage Let's see how that looks. Bam! Quite nice, right? Works like a charm. Very Dark Soulsy. And you can see when we jump down from things, we also. This is actually. Yeah, that's not looking very good. Let's fix that in a later video. But you can see when we fall down from stuff, we also uh, roll. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, that's enough for this video, I think. It's gonna be a record for me. It's 12 minutes, that's nothing, which is insane. I usually go five times this amount. Maybe I should actually prepare before I start recording my videos. Um, do I need something else in this video? I think it's fine. Um, what we're gonna do in the next video is probably we're gonna start with the animation state. So that we, because right now you can see I can, it's gonna be weird if I spam my buttons. Let's do one more thing in this video. This is what I wanna fix. Uh, as you can see, if we jump, um, uh, we can switch direction when we're jumping. I don't really like that. You can't do that in real life. I don't know if you have noticed. So let's just quickly fix that. Um, go into your event graph, right? Uh, I'm just gonna comment this. Spacebar logic. Um, bum, 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 bum. Where is it? It's the mouse input, right? So, look up is fine, but the axis turn is. So, the axis turn is basically this. Up is this, up, down. This is axis turn. This is the turn. Uh, so, branch, um, do I get it from the animation blueprint maybe? So as you can see here, is in air is determined on the animation blueprint. So try get pawn owner is falling movement component. So it's the movement component that has this. So get character movement is falling. Is 
if is falling is true uh, we aren't gonna be able to turn our mouse so we can sorry if it's false connect it here if it's true nothing happens So I can't turn my camera until I land. Uh, it's a re little bit stale with this actually. So let's just, if it's true. So we're gonna add another jaw input. Uh, but this time we are gonna divide. So the axis value here is how much your camera is turning. So if we are in here, we're gonna divide that by five which means the camera will turn a lot slower so that it doesn't feel locked but you're not going to be able to manipulate the movement as much as you can see so I can still turn a little bit but not that much which is fine so yeah uh, that is nice that's about it all right still very short video bam Congratulate me in the comments. Let me know if there's any questions or anything. And thanks for today. Bye.